The Daisy devs have just released their week 28 dev blog for Daisy Frostline and they're now showing off some of the new animals that will be coming in this update. So the new dev blog is out and in this one they're showing off a couple of the new animals that are coming with the Frostline DLC and they're showing off two in particular which are the hare and the fox. Now the hare I previously remember being in the alpha versions of the game and it was taken out I think when it switched to update 1.0 with the new engine but finally after a long wait the hare is coming back into the game. Seems to be completely reworked from the ground up with brand new animations, new sounds, new skeleton rework. The whole lot is getting completely redone. There are some traps currently in the game where if you set them you can actually catch a hare in the game right now but you don't actually see them running around it's just like a static object and you can cut it up and eat it if you want but this time you're actually going to be able to hunt them like you would a chicken for example so they go on to say that they're adding the brown hair and that they face some challenges with visibility of these small brown hairs on many of the surfaces coming with the Sakhal map. To address this challenge, we prioritise different poses and animations that would make it easier for players to detect the hair nearby. And then what they did is they gave some footage of what the hair will actually look like when, you know, it's running around in the Sakhal map. And you will be able, easily able to spot them at times. They will like jump up and they'll look around and... They'll move in certain ways that you will be able to determine them or find them in like a field, for example. I will say, j just from watching these videos, the animations for the hares and the foxes as well, which we'll come to in a minute, do look really, really clean. Like they just look so well done. They've also added the fox, which will be coming in this Frostline DLC. And the fox is something that we've never seen in game before until now. So having a brand new animal come into the game is going to be quite nice as well. They did also show off some animations for this one as well of what like the fox will actually be doing. So it like jumps and rolls around and plays and pretty crazy. Actually quite detailed I think with how it works. I know for example the, the modders who make like animal mods for Daisy are going to be really happy with some of the animations that come out of like the fox or the hare mods for example they'll be able to incorporate them quite well so you could spot a fox literally running around and rolling in the mud and stuff like that and it'll just be really cool to see and you should be able to watch them from a distance of what they're saying so it doesn't look like you'll be able to startle them that much and the audio team did go on to say that you'll be able to hear these animals before you even see them because the hare will have some little squeaks The fox will have some raspy barks and sharp barks. So you'll be able to indicate, you know, if the animal is close by or far away with these audio designs now they didn't go on to say in this article here maybe because there there's just no need but there is also reindeer added in with this uh Sakhal map we did see that at the daisy uh, unite event back in may and they did show off some reindeer from a distance in that gameplay press conference that they showed us they did look a bit different i think can't remember if there's any sound changes or not but again we'll have to find out uh, these are the only animals that they're showing off for now. I don't know if we will see more animals down the road. Maybe they'll add some more in or maybe there is some more in already that they haven't shown us. I'm pretty happy that these are back in. Again, it's even these small changes of like adding the hair back in and adding a new fox will make the game just feel so much more newer and fresher. And that's what we need. And this map just, it really is going to be a completely fresh retake on Daisy. And I'm, I'm really excited to try it out. I keep saying it, but every time one of them does keep coming out, you know, you just see progress and progress. It just keeps getting better and better. And yeah, it's great to see. So again, let me know your thoughts on this down below. This dev blog wasn't as big as previous ones, but they're obviously only showing off animals, so there probably isn't that much to show off. But it's cool nonetheless, and I'm really happy to see that they are adding animals back. So yeah, that's it for this video, and until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, peace out for now.